Interesting. Interesting. I have a theory, okay? I have a theory real quick after this episode. We find out about a legend in this episode, and technically these characters that were already shown, like in the flashback, we didn't get to see their faces, but they were technically already shown in the previous couple episodes back, episode 1 and 2 if I remember correctly, they talk about how the, there was these gods. These gods looked like dragons, pretty much. You had to where a red dragon came down from the heavens, pretty much, and became a human. When he became a human, he loved the humans so much, but eventually the humans forgot their gods. They forgot the gods, they forsaken them, and then they tried to execute the red dragon and gain his power. You have the other dragons, the other different colored dragons, come down from the heavens, and they actually seek to help their friend the red dragon out. And the thing was is they, they really love him a lot. They said, like, come with us. We will destroy all humans and stuff like that. And you have it to where the red dragon says, like, no. No matter what they do to me, I will still love them. And it just shows you the care that the red dragon had for everybody else. And so with the other gods' compassion, they actually give some of their blood up to one human. For instance, each individual human, I'm guessing, of different individual tribes get... Well, like some blood from the gods and they got their powers like we see a showcase of all these different light cat people that got their powers like one had like crazy claws one could not take any damage one had great jumping skills stuff like that and there was four of them and they were called the four dragon knights or four dragons either way we find out that these gods give these people their power and the main goal that it has been set up with this episode of Akatsuki no Yona is that Yona is going to be hunting down these dragon knights or these four dragons and it, it's really cool. I, I like that so far because they're adding in this, like, you know, supernatural element to the series. And with the Red Dragon, like how we found out about the Red Dragon, how he had this red hair and he became human, it makes me think that the Red Dragon dude was a long time ago, like the great, 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 great grandfather or something of Yona. Because we saw the exact same hair color on the Red Dragon as we see on Yona. And if you look at the father of Yona, he didn't really have any red hair. So I'm guessing maybe Yona has like the will of the red dragon inside of her. It's a possibility. It's definitely a possibility after this episode. That's my fear right there. I want to say real quick that most likely the dragon knights or the four dragons are going to probably help out Yona just because of the red hair. The hair that Yona technically does not like and she really has always wanted to get rid of. Most likely the Dragonites are going to join her and help her out just because of that hair. Because most likely she looks very similar to the Red Dragon. Now moving past those points. The main point of the episode like I said was just the setup for these Dragonites to be revealed. And Yona hunting them down to try to find them and join forces to where she can gain the kingdom back. And you have the priest pretty much giving a prophecy up about the dragon. So that's pretty much what was going on there. The animation, as always, was really good in Akatsuki no Yona, so no complaints from me at any point of this episode when it comes to terms of animation. I mean, it's not perfect, but I mean, it looked pretty good for the most part. I mean, this wasn't a battle-orientated episode, so I'll cut it some slack. Music, music's good. I love the music. Oh my god, it really suits the mood and atmosphere, as always, when it comes to this series. Now, the thing I want to mention is the romance progression in this episode. Like, we get to see how Hawk is wanting to kiss Yona in this episode. Like, he goes for the kiss on Yona. Yona mistakens. I don't know if she was being dumb, dense, or she was just trying to shake it off. But she, you know, pretty much tried to check his temperature and hit her, like, headbutted him in the head. And it pretty much killed the entire mood. But it shows us that Hawk is starting to grow attached to Yona. Like, he wants to, like, have a higher relationship than just as friends. He's starting to love her a lot. And so I like that. I like how we're getting romance progression. I wonder exactly how that's going to go on in the later course of this series. But for the most part, a very basic, basic episode of Akatsuki no Yona. It's once again another setup episode, which I'm glad. This, this series is going to be 24 episodes, if I'm correct. It's going to be 24. And if it's going to be 24 episodes, it's understandable why the pace is a little bit slow. Because it's taking time to develop the characters, make us care about the characters, and set up all the plot points. I mean, if the series is setting up all the plot points, and it's actually doing it right. Because I've heard a lot of people, like uh, certain chibits that are manga readers or light novel readers, tell me that this series is actually being adapted properly then I'm fine with it. I'm fine with the pacing. The pacing doesn't bug me because I love slow-paced series, especially if it develops it properly to where I will care about something later down the road. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I mean, how'd you feel about this week's episode of Akatsuki no Yona? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? What was your favorite moments about it? How do you feel about the four Dragonites or four Dragon Warriors going to 
probably join forces with Jonas. It's technically we saw them in the flashback in the first two episodes. It's kind of obvious they're going to join her. But I mean, how do you feel about them? Let me know. Did you think they were actually gods or did you think they just had supernatural powers? I, I didn't think they would actually have like blood of gods inside of them. And to think that they've lived for that long too is pretty freaking mind-blowing. So anyways, you all have a wonderful day or not. Wherever you live, please be safe. She be out.